and welcome to The View from the IMF. We are here in Washington where the world leaders are meeting and one of them is with me now, uh, Olli Rehn. Um, you are now board member of the Bank of Finland. Correct. You used to also be a European Commissioner for Economic and Monetary Affairs and the Euro for many years. So you are one of the best placed people to talk about what should happen in terms of Eurozone reform. Now a lot, a lot is being talked about there from French President Macron, from Wolfgang Schäuble in Germany. Now, what would you say is the right solution for the Eurozone? Often uh, one hears that uh, there is uh, kind of a dualistic choice uh, in the public debate or media debate that uh, it's either federation or death. Either the Eurozone will become uh, a political federation or it will uh, collapse. Uh, I can tell you that's fake news, uh, <laughs> that's, that's a false fact. Uh, and um, there is uh, a third way that can uh, build uh, a stability union where we have uh, the main responsibility in the member states uh, concerning uh, economic policy. But at the same time, uh, we have uh, strong uh, stabilization functions uh, which uh, any monetary union uh, should have. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most uh, pressing and uh, urgent uh, concern now is to complete uh, the banking union and uh, I believe that uh, this should be undertaken by the member states. Uh, mm -hmm. The commission made uh, quite a reasonable compromise proposal just uh, quite recently. How easy is it actually to reform the Eurozone and the EU in general at the moment? In this is quite a interesting the political climate. Nothing is uh, ever easy in, in Europe uh, but uh, nevertheless uh, we have to do better than just uh, muddle through. Mm. And uh, this means that uh, it would be very important now to utilize uh, the situation where we have uh, better economic fundamentals uh, in the Eurozone and we have uh, overall uh, better political undercurrents uh, mm. in the Eurozone. And uh, therefore, in the next couple of years, uh, we should uh, indeed, uh, first of all, fairly soon, uh, without unnecessary delay, complete uh, the banking union as regards uh, uh, backstop for the Common Resolution Fund, uh, as regards uh, steps towards uh, uh, Common Deposit Guarantee Scheme. And uh, then uh, we can also discuss uh, how to further reinforce uh, the capacity of the European Stability Mechanism uh, to ensure that uh, financial stability is uh, guaranteed in uh, all circumstances. Uh, on that, uh, in my view, there have been uh, several reasonable proposals on the table, but it's important that uh, we, uh, we will uh, also recall that uh, the community method uh, where the role of the Commission is, uh, is uh, central will uh, con continue to play its role in uh, economic and fiscal policy surveillance. You've mentioned the economy here. Obviously, you've been the economy minister in Finland uh, just recently. Um, what would you say is the, the biggest challenge at the moment for the Finnish and maybe the, the EU economy? Uh, the Brits would like to think it's Brexit. I presume it's not. Brexit is uh, a big plight, uh, but uh, mostly for the British, uh, mostly for the UK. In fact, uh, for the other Europeans, uh, it's important that uh, we will continue to reform the Eurozone and uh, especially that uh, the Member States themselves uh, continue economic reforms uh, so that uh, their economies uh, become uh, better in terms of uh, providing sustainable growth and uh, job creation. As regards the Finnish economy, we have uh, our particular challenges. We have just uh, concluded uh, a competitiveness pact uh, between the employers and uh, trade unions, uh, which will mean that uh, we are regaining our lost uh, cost uh, competitiveness. Uh, now we have to stay the course in this regard uh, and uh, create uh, further preconditions uh, through reforms uh, to stronger growth, uh, sustained growth and uh, improved uh, employment uh, in our country. And now let's also talk about the banking sector a little bit because obviously you are, you are now one of the board members of Bank of Finland and what we've just seen is that the biggest Nordic bank, Nordea, used to be headquartered in Sweden, has decided to move its headquarters to Finland. 
Now, what impact is that going to have on the Finnish banking sector, bearing in mind the huge asset base that Nordea has? Nordea's uh, decision to locate its uh, headquarters to Helsinki, to Finland, uh, is uh, first of all uh, a vote of confidence uh, for the Eurozone Banking Union. They wanted uh, a stable and uh, predictable environment, uh, and uh, that's what they get in, in Helsinki, Finland, and uh, the Eurozone Banking Union. It will also reinforce uh, Helsinki and Finland uh, as a financial cent center. At the same time, uh, we have been uh, screening the potential risks, uh, and uh, here one can say that uh, Nordea's uh, balance sheet is uh, both big but also rather healthy, and uh, the bank is uh, quite resilient. Uh, and second, uh, contrary to some uh, media reports, uh, the essence uh, for systemically important banks uh, of financial institutions like uh, Nordea in terms of uh, facing a crisis uh, is actually not uh, so much uh, uh, the deposit guarantee scheme without underestimating that uh, it is uh, resolu the resolution and uh, bail-in regime. According to the European legislation, all uh, systemically important uh, banks uh, in a crisis situation will be first dealt with. Uh, through the Bain regime and uh, through the resolution mechanism. This will mean that uh, the costs uh, for taxpayer will be essentially and uh, substantially uh, reduced uh, in uh, the cases of the potential crisis. Olli thank you very much. Thank you very much.